This video shows several invertebrates that I found on kale harvested from my housemate's small organic garden on 17 July 2016 near Albany, New York, USA. It's a difficult question whether organic or conventional farms cause more total insect suffering. That topic is discussed in the essay shown here. However, one clear downside of amateur organic farming is that the resulting produce often contains bugs. If you don't inspect the produce for these bugs, then these bugs are likely to be killed in painful ways, such as drowning in your drain when you rinse them off the veggies, or being eaten and digested alive inside your stomach, or being heated to death when the veggies are cooked. So whenever my housemate harvests veggies from the garden, I check them carefully to remove insects, usually leaving the insects outside on part of the plant that they were on. This may be the caterpillar of the small white butterfly, Pieris rapi. This caterpillar commonly eats kale, along with other cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. However, I'm not completely confident in this identification, since this caterpillar also looks similar to that of Pieris napi. I often see adult white butterflies circling around a container where kale is planted. It's possible that these are the adults of the green caterpillar that we saw. Wikipedia says regarding the genus Pieris, quote, Pieris, the whites or garden whites, is a widespread, now almost cosmopolitan genus of butterflies of the family Pieridae. The highest species diversity is in the Palearctic. Many species of this genus have caterpillars which feed on cabbage and other members of the Brassicaceae. The chemical basis of this association with a certain plant group has been studied for over a hundred years and is now known to occur via a number of biochemical adaptations to chemicals called glucosinolates in these plants. In contrast to most other insects, pieris caterpillars are able to detoxify these chemicals and have become so specialized that they will not eat any food without glucosinolates. The pieris females, in turn, check for the presence of glucosinolates before laying eggs on a plant. The crop-damaging species have spread from Eurasia to most of the rest of the world, most recently to South America and Africa." End quote. 